Now, Secretary Clinton, we, we, uh, we've been doing a thing on the show called a Late Late Show and Tell, where we ask our guests if they would share something with us from their home that we may otherwise never get to see. Do you have anything you'd like to share with us this evening? I do, James. In fact, I've got two things to share with you because I've got the remaining harvest from my garden delivered by my fellow gardener, um, otherwise known as a 42nd president. And so, <laughs> so he has been, <laughs> you know, scouring the garden as we have, have been speaking to make sure that I got the tomatoes, the peppers, the oregano, the chives, the rosemary, mm -hmm. uh, the basil. Wow. You know, this is what's left. Uh, my, my grandchildren uh, and we uh, planted the garden, and uh, here we are. Can here I be we honest? October, and this is what we've got left. Can I be honest? I think, I think we've been doing this interview long enough that Bill jumped in the car and just nipped to a supermarket and came back <laughs> with that produce. Bill, no, be honest. No. No. We, we dug in the, the garden. We have these huge, we have, first of all, a little box garden that you walk <laughs> into, and then we have these big sort of planters full of dirt, and we planted everything, and our grandchildren were champs. They loved doing it, and they worked and worked and worked, and this is all that's left. We've been eating out of it all summer. Yep. Wow. This is it. President... We're for real. President Clinton, <laughs> thank you so much for sharing... Your, your harvest from the garden. What a lovely show and tell this is. Uh, let me ask you, this is President. All that's left from my childhood as a country boy. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you quickly, President Clinton, we've been talking with Secretary Clinton all about this. Tell me, what did you think of the debate last night? Well, I thought if you watched it and listened, you got a pretty clear impression of who the candidates really are and what they really care about. I, I didn't like all the interruptions and the absence of, uh, for most of the debate, serious discussions about things that affect the American people and what's going to happen to real people and their families, their kids, their future after the election. But we at least got a feel for what the candidates are all about and what they really care about. Well, bless you. What an absolute treat to see you both. Uh, President Clinton, do you want to stick around for Reggie's question? I think he'll have a real humdinger. <laughs> do you want to stick around? Let's I'm find retired. out. Reggie, do you have a question for either of our guests this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to... Let's make it for uh, the Clintons. If you could be any animal for a day, which one would you be? I would be an elephant. And uh, it's because I care deeply about what's happening to the elephants, uh, the pressure they're under from, you know, creeping development and poachers. Uh, and they're such uh, intelligent creatures. And of course, they have a, a matriarchy, which, you know, I'm kind of into. <laughs> I would be an orangutan. An orangutan? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they're very much like us, and yet they're not. <laughs> And I'd like to figure out how they all get along, how they pattern their lives, and how they're different from us. Yeah, genetically, they're what, 99% or something? They're close, about 96.5% yeah. the same uh, as we are. Yeah. Well, so. ladies and gentlemen, on that bombshell, <laughs> we thank President Clinton, but we also hugely thank Secretary Hillary Rodham Clinton. What an absolute joy to talk to you. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after this, everybody. Thank you all. That was great. Thank you so much.